Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm giving you part 4 of this uh, interior design series. And I just need to quit Skype, because I just realised that's on. Okay, so, uh, yeah, in this part 4, uh, we're going to be creating this TV over here, so the actual TV and the, its little shelf, or it's the thing it's sitting on. And if we've got time, we'll also model the lamp, although I'm not really sure if I want to include that, because it just looks weird just sitting there. So, uh, let's get on with uh, the actual tutorial. Okay, so the TV is quite simple to model. It's about as simple as, uh, well, again, just like the table, it's as simple as you'd think it is. You just add in a plane, you rotate it, and uh, getting the scale is quite important. So. The way you do this is because my computer is connected to my TV. It's quite easy for me to see that you know if you just sort of uh, picture where the half line, uh, halfway horizontally is. So along this way, uh, you know, this is about halfway. Uh, we can actually easily use the mirror modifier to help us with the modelling. Um, okay, uh, it's not a square, but it's not. Uh, you know, twice as wide as it is tall. It's about, um, you know, it's. Uh, let's see if I just about. It's actually something like that. It's not too. Uh, it, it's a weird shape, but you don't have to get it perfectly because it's going to be quite hard. To, people aren't actually going to get a ruler out and start measuring it because if they do, then who cares about them? They're just going to be weird. Okay, so let's just extrude this face out now. Uh, it, it, oh, oh uh, yeah, like I was saying, just picture where the half line is. You can even go up to your TV and just take a little look. But it's, you know, this bit here is, uh, it, it's about, uh, it's not twice as wide, it's about one and a half times as wide as it is tall. Okay, anyway, um, enough about that. So, now that we've done this, we can extrude that out and we can extrude this out as well and turning on the clipping would help okay and create the borders of the TV and my TV is got a bit of space here and uh, I can even bring that down and then add in another loop cut here just to add in a bit more geometry but I'm not going to do that it's a waste of time and waste of everything. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can just leave it. Maybe just bring this up a bit like that. Just leave it like that. It's fine. I also want to just bring the screen a bit closer because you know how TVs are this, these days. Okay, so now if we get this thing here, this outer edge, we can extrude this back. And that's not flat screen that's flat screen so if you want to have a flat screen thing then that's cool but you know if you don't want a flat screen just bring it way out here or something create one of those nasty old TVs okay so now we can extrude this out a bit and just scale it in like that and then extrude this out scale it in and you know just uh, you know it, by the time you get to this point, you can just, uh, oh, in fact, instead of actually extruding, you just make a face at the back here. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Now, uh, give it smooth shading, and again, we're going to want the edge split modifier, and that will just make everything look a lot better. Um, Alright, oh, and of course, the stand, because TVs, you know, and this is actually built into the wall which some TVs are, uh, they've got a little stand. Now, I don't know about your TV, but uh, I've got a little cylinder thing. Uh, let's give it uh, 16 vertices again. And just make it, you know, a lot smaller and a bit chubby. In fact, it's a bit wider than that. It just sort of goes into the bottom of the TV. Um, hmm. I guess it's... Uh, quite thin at the top and um, now we can just scale this out and it's got quite a wide base it sort of it's 
something like that. It uh, doesn't stay like a perfect circle shape. It goes a bit wider on uh, the x-axis. So something like that. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay. We can give it smooth shading again. And uh, might just get a bit more of that. That sort of shape. And something's looking weird. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to add in a subdivision surface modifier to hide whatever it is. And in fact, it's not really going to be visible in the render, so that's fine. Um, oh, I know. Uh, I was wondering why I, was, uh, I didn't notice it the first time. Of course, uh, my TV is uh, it's kind of strange. Um, when just taking a look at it, it's uh, the back. Uh, or the bottom of the back sort of uh, comes out a bit so it can actually make way for this thing here so if we scale that up it fits in nicely and we can woo, scale all of this stuff out okay that's looking a bit better and uh, yeah that's looking fine now so now we need to add in more placeholder materials so this thing here oh, let's actually just add in TV screen that's good oh screen that's gonna be that thing uh, there the actual screen obviously and this thing is gonna be the TV frame oh frame there there we go and we can sign that and we can also give this thing a TV frame like so. Okay. And um, we just give this the viewport colour of darkness, like that. Uh, that's fine. And we can uh, give this thing here, we can parent that to the TV. And let's get into naming these things. This is going to be called TV Stand. This is going to be called TV. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to just uh, create the thing, like little uh, cupboard thing that it's on, so we can just move this into the furniture layer for now. And for this thing, it's quite a simple object, it's just a cube, I made it twice as wide as it is tall, then I added in a loop cut here, use the mirror modifier, and then I, yep, added in a loop cut there, and another one there and I extruded this in oh wait uh, yeah uh, press E on this then press S I'll just scale that down extrude that in and then do the same with this oh uh, uh no hang on um I have to get rid of this stuff that's stopping the one at the bottom because I made that one big hole and we can just get these vertices here by turning on clipping and uh, just moving those in like that and that way you uh, get to create these big holes in the thing so it creates a shelf so you can put books and DVDs on and all that stuff okay and uh, we're gonna unwrap this bit in a, like, in a future part so don't go crazy uh, on the objects, although I don't really see how I can make this very interesting, it's just a shelf. Okay, and now if we just move this over to the furniture layer and go to it, okay, we can just scale down all this stuff and put it just somewhere in the corner. Uh, if we just bring back the room so I can see where the corner actually is, it's just over here, so. Um, hmm. Maybe not completely in the corner, just near the corner. Uh, I'm just going to hide the TV in its little thing. Um, hmm. This isn't going to plan. How about just move the uh, fireplace down a bit, uh, not down, just to the side, and I can keep this at a good scale so it can actually fit in the room without being squished up okay yeah that's looking good then bring back the TV 
that's already at a good size, so we can just move this over, rotate it round, and there we go. We can even probably make this a bit bigger with these people in a big TV. Okay, there we go. Oh, and of course we're going to need to call this uh, shelf and give this the placeholder material of shelf. Alright, now how long have I been recording this for? Ten minutes. Okay, we're going to stop here. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with the lamp. I mean, if you just look at it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, that UV image editor. Uh, yeah, you can see that the lamp object is quite straightforward. It's just a cylinder with uh, a little thing on the top. The materials are quite straightforward as well when we uh, get into that stuff. Oh, uh, actually, no, they're not. Um, okay, I'll quickly just put in the lamp for you guys. It, it's really not too hard. I mean, I put in little to no effort into it. Uh, okay. Add a cylinder, 16 vertices. Scale it in like that. Scale it up on the Z axes. Give it a smooth shading. And uh, bring it over to. Oh, uh, no, the furniture layer. Then we just position it in the scene over there. Get it in, um, and then get it down, and move it up. Then we just select this, go to cursor to selected, and add in another cylinder. Um, and then just, uh, yeah, bring this up so that it's covering the lamp. Just scale it in, and then sort of make the top a bit thinner. Something like that, okay. If that smooth shading. And there you go, that is the object done. We can just call this lamp shade. And the call this thing the lamp. And then parent the lamp shade to the lamp. Like that. And yeah, there we go. That's the lamp thing completed. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I think now we're already going to be able to move into the materials. I don't quite think there's anything else to be made. Um, nope, that's everything. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, we're already nearing the end of this. The next part will be the materials, but that'll take a while, so yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, comment on this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel of course and follow me on Twitter so thanks for watching and goodbye